Good day, fine people, and especially lovers of quiet, quiet helmets who are also a bit flip-lid sceptical, because it's finally here, Shoebirth's new S3, and we are going to showcase this... Well, th no, we are not going to showcase. We are not even going to review. We are going to have a first look yes. into this lid, okay? Okay, because these aren't review. No, no there's not a review. No. Okay. No. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Yeah, not a review. Okay, Beach. So take me through the spec of the S3. Well, it's a composite shell, mm -hmm. obviously, and just like Shoebirth C5, the inner shell is made from carbon fibre. Now, this is going back to 2206. You know how people seem to have a good old cry about what helmets weigh? Yeah, I know, it winds us all up. But um, 2206 basically means all helmets get heavier, right? Yeah. Okay, so what you'll see is manufacturers like Shoebirth um, uh, mitigating this by having other parts of the helmet in ultra light materials like carbon fiber. So underneath the composite shell, there is a carbon fiber shell underneath, which is absolutely brilliant and it helps keep the weight down. We have plenty of venting here. You can kind of see the sporty air scoops there. And here we have the now de rigueur double. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, the double front vent there. And in there, there will be like a little a little thing you can take out and clean. You yes. know, a little round, a little round spongy type thing that collects all the nastiness. And if we go to here as well, you can see that uh, that is a proper, that's a proper exhaust there. That's to, obviously in summer, especially when it gets really hot, that's to help all the noxious head gases escape. Now, let's also have a look here because, do you know what these are on the visor? Uh, not a clue. These are turbulators, which is it's, it's, a, it's a bit of an oxymoron kind of thing, because turbulators sounds like something that creates turbulence, but actually they fight against turbulence. They're the superhero against, turbul against turbulence. It helps streamline the lid, and it's just these really funny little, funny little things there that kind of feel mm. kind of half nice to the touch. See? Interesting, yes. It is, isn't it? Um, now, as you can probably see, we have... This is Shoebirth's new kind of... This is their new way of branding. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they like it. I mean, you know, obviously we have Shuba for there, a bit of a giveaway. But I quite like this because it's only on one side. If you look on the other side, it's no. not there because on this side we have... The comms. That's the space for the comms for the control unit and that's the one here. Now, the, the comms that click onto this is the SC comms that you and I both have quite a lot of experience of. Yeah. Um, and, okay, we're getting ahead of ourselves a little bit because the comms go on the outside, but this comes with three antennas pre-installed, and that takes care of radio, Bluetooth, and the actual talking to other people on motorbikes. So, before we move on, can we just go back to the vents? Mm -hmm. Why are there two vents? Oh, a pertinent point. Um, two vents, quite simply, this vent is for you. Oh, uh, okay. I know, not personally for you, unless you happen to be wearing one. This basically is for the, the human being inside. This vent here is specifically for the visor. So if you actually look here, oh, you can see there? Yes. So it goes in there and it goes straight up on the visor. That's to help keep the visor clear. And although, you know, most of the shoe berth, especially the clear visors, come with a Pinlock 120 fitted as standard. Mm -hmm. So the chances of it fogging up, you know, are minimal anyway, but we have that there just to help. Now, speaking about the visors, they are class one visors. In fact, look, I've ridden, I've probably reviewed gajillions of helmets and stuff. And one thing I will say about Shoebirth, their, their visors are absolutely brilliant. Their visual clarity is a definite. It's as good or better than some of the best, most expensive, other helmets I've worn, they are they are the absolute nuts. And if this one here, you see this is a dark visor, we're gonna come back to that in a minute. Mm -hmm. We obviously have the internal sun visor. Now, that is controlled by here, okay? Now this is, this is it in the locked up position. Yeah. Okay, obviously you need to move it that way to get it down. Now, moving it this way yeah. to get it down is actually a tiny bit harder, tiny bit, than closing it, so closing it there's nothing at all, and then you get to there and you just feel a little bit of resistance and click. Uh, click. Yeah, that kind of holds it up. But there is another thing. So, um, if you happen to have a giant conk, sometimes they can hit your nose. 
these right. internal sliders. But here, if you look here, there's a little clip there. That's it. Oh yeah. So if you push that in, when you put it down, it actually can't go down quite as far, thereby not chopping your enormous nose off. How good is that? That's a good idea. Well, it is if you like having a nose. Exactly. <laughs> now then. I want to talk a bit more about visors as well because, as you can see, these are dark visors. However, they're not dark visors in the traditional sense because dark visors uh, on a lot of other helmets are really, really dark. These aren't. In fact, you might get some people have the wrong idea about these shoe berth visors. Some people will say they're illegal. But then, hang on a minute, what's this little thing here that says E13? It is there. Basically, these are perfectly legal because the laws change. Now, you won't get the kind of 80% dark, 20% light like you're used to on official visors that come from a manufacturer. At least mm -hmm. most you won't. And Shoeberth have taken these visors as dark as they can go. It's 50 or 60%. Uh, we, can, we, can, we, can, we, we can we can double check that. 50 or 60%. But So you get this one and then ally it to that one and you basically get the same amount of kind of light um, get riddingness. <laughs> my, my brain failed me then. But basically you get the right kind of shading yeah. as you would with a really dark visor when you use the two together. Um, but it is important because there does seem to be some disinformation out there at the moment about these shoe berth visors. The fact is they are perfectly legal and well to be honest with you... Because it says so. Because it says so. So let's move on and delve into the inside. Yes? Yes. Okay, one second. Ah! Oh. <sighs> right then, let's have a look on the inside. Now, the inside is actually made from this super exclusive material from Italy that I have completely and utterly forgotten the name of, even though I looked at it about 10 seconds a go. So what's going to happen is yeah, this. Yes, they're going to stick it in there. It's but, down here. Yeah, yeah, but it is. I mean, it is an unbelievable stuff. Now, the interior of this helmet is basically like the C5 or the E2 in that it can be it can be taken apart, put back together, and basically made exactly as you want. Fully customizable. Yes. Basically, I know, I know, I know. There's lots of stuff going on here, and of course we have the Aros system. Now I'm going to actually, I'm just, I, I'm going to actually do something here and just pull a, a, a little bit there and there. Right. What does the arrow system do? It goes from the back of the helmet around your neck to the micrometric strap. And what micrometric it, strap. it, yeah, it's exclusive. It's patented by Schuberf. Mm -hmm. And what it does is, in the event that a very, very, very rare set of circumstances happen and something gets on your helmet to try and get it off, that will stop the helmet from coming off. It's, it, is, it is a genius, it's a genius thing. And what it actually allowed Shoeberth to do was to move the strap a bit further forward to make it a lot more comfortable so it's not so much here, mm. it's more there, but it doesn't affect um, the stability of the helmet on there. It stays on. It really is an amazing, it's, it's, it's an amazing thing and you'll find, you'll probably find others copying it if they haven't already. It's that good. Um, we have the micrometric strap obviously, which is easy to use with gloves, blah, 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 you, you know, you can do it, you can do it one-handed, and furthermore, is adjustable from both sides. Yes, I see yeah, that. Yeah, so, and that is a good thing, and obviously we've got a little Velcro strap as well, it goes on there, and absolutely brilliant. Ah, and there's one more thing, I don't know if you can see this, so, you can, can you see this in there? I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that, and Chris is going to have to do one of his zoom to see if you can see it. There are two holes right at the top there. Now, they are linked to this vent, and there is a little flap in there that you can put down or take off. When the flap is off, the air is directed right onto the top there. So, in, you know, in summer and stuff, if you wanted a, a stab of cool air, you do that. But, if you put the flap on, Right. It distributes the air from the top vent around your head. That's genius. It is genius, isn't it? It's just the little touches. Just the little touches. Little touches. We love those little touches. Yes, we do. Now, obviously, we've spoken about uh, the fact that there are all the antennas and stuff in here that, that come. Okay, so we don't really need to go into that. But we also have these here, which are the... Pull tabs. Pull tabs, which means if the worst has happened and somebody needs to get your helmet off, they can just... Like that. And then the helmet can be taken off. So, correct me if I'm wrong, 
the speakers and the microphone are already fitted in here. So yeah, there's no installation. No. It becomes. No, 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 no. Here. If you are going to go with the, hang on a second. Ah, SC comms here. Then no, there isn't. Basically, uh, all the antennas I've said before, all the, all the three antennas are mm -hmm. pre-fitted in here. And what's also pre-fitted is all the wiring, the speakers, yep. and the microphone, yep. which lives just under here. Now you can't see it, so we'll show you another picture of it. But you can't see it because I wanted to show everyone this. Ooh, what's because that? this is going to lead me onto noise. Now Shoebirth's big thing is noise reduction in helmets. In fact, I think I'm right in saying they are still the only manufacturer to actually test wind noise in helmets. And that is a very, very hard thing to do because there are so many gajillions of variables. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it, and, you know, the person, mm. you, which way is the wind going on that particular day, blah, blah, yeah, blah. You blah, can't blah, just blah. say, how noisy is this helmet? Well. No, no. For literally any other helmet out there, just wear bloody earplugs. It's easy. <laughs> it's, just, it's just really simple. Unless you ask me to do noise. Exactly, things. exactly. Because most helmets are, to a certain extent, noisy. And this is why. People think it's the noise on the outside. No. Uh, uh, uh. no, it's the noise on the air that gets in to the helmet. That's where the noise comes from. Now, this little flap here, which you can remove if you want more airflow during the summer, it'll, it will it will come out, as you can see there. But that there, basically, so there's your neck. Yep. Now, wh where, where's, the, where's the wind getting in with this stuck on? Well, well it's not, is it's it? It's not. <laughs> exactly. So now imagine the microphone's there as well. So you've got that stopping the wind getting in, which means your voice will be able to be heard so much clearer um, because of this and that is another reason why these helmets are so fabulous when it comes to comes to noise to noise levels um, they again they're the only ones that really make a massive massive effort yeah. on this so if you want the quietest lid around shoe berth and also if you want one that does really good sizes because the sizes are extra small to 3XL. Mm -hmm. It comes in a variety of colours, including some plain colours too. And I believe five year warranty? Correct. Yeah, uh, you, you register online if you buy one, you can get a five year warranty. I mean, just yeah, from top to bottom, it's absolutely, it's absolutely, it's fab. It, for me, look, I, I like shoe birth as a brand. I like what they do, but you know I do not like flip loads. Exactly. The C5 is a brilliant helmet, but this is the one I've been waiting for. Yes, you have. Yeah, I have, yeah, and I've been banging on about it. I've been banging on about this for like a year, because the S2, I absolutely adored the S2. And so I've been waiting for this to come out, because it is just sporty enough to kind of sate my sporty desires. And, uh, yeah, and speaking about any other people's desires, Gemma, if they desired to know more about this helmet, where would they go? Oh, really? Bikeheads.co.uk.